Hello, this is Jeff with Arizona Hot Homestead, and today I thought we'll just touch base on fire extinguishers. Give you an idea of what I have here, and uh, and why I have more than one. Let me take this guy off. This obviously is in the doorway, duh, on my trailer. Easy to come off. This is considered a five pounder, and this trailer this this fire extinguisher is called a BC and the BC is a dry chemical and it's mainly for the liquids and electrical that are found in in your uh, trailer in RVs there's some instructions there on how to use it some other details I'm not going to go into details about all the different types of fire extinguishers and and which ones you should have or anything like that this one does not have a valve it's a disposable most of these little ones are disposable that came with the trailer then I picked up this this guy here same brand this is a very popular fire extinguisher fire uh, smoke detectors things like that this one as you can see has a gauge on it but it's mainly for auto marina which same kind of thing for uh, for uh, RVs common with auto trucks watercraft flammable liquids electrical equipment single use it's a 10 BC what that means basically is is it's a considered a 10 pounder Here is the tank itself. Hey, the green is a good thing. Pull that red plug out, and and you're ready to uh, you're ready to fight a fire. But it looks like the instructions and all that are the same as what's on the other one. Now I have two of them because obviously I got one for the the uh, trailer and then one is going to go into what the electrical room or utility room and uh, where the solar p batteries will be and things and then another one's going to be uh, I'll probably pick up a third one and either have out in my barn or out in the shipping container or somewhere else so that way if I do happen to have a fire I can use this to put it out because one thing I am not going to have is I'm not going to be insured so I'm not going to go with your standard homeowner's insurance because you can't get it on a regular RV. You can get RV insurance, um, but the amount of money I spent on this and the way I'm doing it all, I'm going to just go self-insured. Um, I do recommend, though, that, and this is coming from an insurance guy, I do recommend if, you, uh, if you're able to insure, definitely get insured. But you got to weigh the cost of your insurance with the cost of just self-insuring. Just repair it yourself. So, um, but this video is mainly just to show you what I have. Um, I have in my trailer also a smoke, a standard, ordinary smoke detector. Just a little battery operated guy there. And it's a fresh battery. And then down here, because propane is thicker than air it's more dense so it will fall to the ground this here is a I don't know how well it's coming out but that's my uh, sensor so if I got not enough air in here I got too much O2 then it will go off and tell me something's going on that is in the area that everything is propane such as the stove in the fridge and the hot water heater is even in this area here and uh, and in the in the furnace is as well so um, so this is where all my propane usage will be so it doesn't go anywhere else so knowing that it's a problem here when you're looking at the bedroom being way over there 
and I'll probably close the door or at least I have been closing the door when I do stay so um, at least that buys me some time and there is a doorway in that bedroom so I could easily get out of here and then I could use my uh, fire extinguisher to put out the fire if need be or go outside and turn off the propane but anyhow just a little video on my propane tank or my not my propane tanks my fire extinguishers don't forget yours it would kind of suck if you get all done with your homestead or off-grid cabin or whatever you want to call it and you're all ready to go and then all of a sudden you end up with a little spark from your wood stove or or maybe a mouse or or somebody chewed on your wiring and caused a fire a short circuit and a fire and you had no way of putting it out that would kind of suck so fire extinguishers are important the BC like I said is for is a dry chemical which from what I understand is an easy cleanup and uh, go online check out fire extinguishers for more but for the most part all you need is a BC for um, RVs and and autos and marine and and uh, take care of your liquid and your uh, electrical fire so so having a one with the gauge is nice because if it does go bad and they will go bad after time from what I understand you can replace it this is Jeff with Arizona on the hot homestead showing you my fire extinguishers don't forget yours don't forget to subscribe too and all those who have subscribed thank you very much you guys are making a big impact my subscription base is growing and I love you guys mm -hmm. I know to some of you that's gross but oh well um, don't forget to subscribe like comments and uh, and happy homesteading this is Jeff with Arizona Hot Homestead signing off for today